Welcome back to Universal Love Law. Um, this is for the life path number two. So if you want to know uh, the characteristic traits of a life path number two uh, for yourself or for someone that you know, definitely tune in and let me know what you think about, about my perspective. Okay, guys. So the overall theme for um, life path number two people are you guys are the um, in one word, I would say the partnership. You guys are all for connectivity. You guys love to bring people together. You guys are loyal protectors. Okay. You guys look to find balance and harmony in places, people, and things because you guys really like nice, um, surroundings. Okay. Okay. You guys are willing to work with others to get any job done. And you can really build solid connections and build up to um, building foundations between people to where you really can climb the ladder of success. Okay, you guys are very uh, good with working with people because you know how to humble yourself. And you're very hardworking people. You guys are willing to do whatever it takes to get the job done because you really appreciate a person's effort and you like to acknowledge where people are good at. Um, you love bringing people together and um, you guys are very trustworthy, okay? Good friends who will fight for others before you fight for your own self. That's how, um, you know, loyal you guys are. And uh, you can um, heal broken hearts, you know. You guys are the cupids. You are the ones who bring people together. The matchmaker, remember. So you guys have a cupid complex. You're always trying to put people together. Or you notice where a person may have good qualities that they might lack in some areas. And see, oh, this person might be great for you. Um, or I have a friend. I know you might like them. You guys are really, really commonly known to do that. Um, you guys mastered the art of connectivity um, and graceful, intimate connections. Early on in life, you definitely uh, looked for that. You noticed that. Um, you probably pleased people and um, you enjoyed authentic, pleasurable, and blissful relationships. Relationships that were built upon friendships and just uh, honest, like a love for each other. Even the friendships will love each other, but you also have to consider that you guys could be people pleasers, okay? There's a manipulation tactic in number twos to control things behind the scene. Because you guys are great communicators and extremely persuasive, it can be for better or for worse, okay? You guys obsess over some things. You can be a little bit jealous of people um, that you are you know close to you don't want to other people to take them from you <laughs> or you really desire to be liked by others so you will do things um to uh get people to join your team so to say okay um you guys can be prone to codependent relationships because of your need to connect with others and that can be very toxic okay but not in every situation when you guys are young you know you really may have stopped your friends from being able, I mean, from a confrontation. You notice when one is about to arise early on, like you guys are great mediators, okay? You guys know how to really help a situation overcome and um, evolve from a state of frustration into a state of connecting and expression because a lot of the times, People need someone that's in the middle just to hear them out. You are a very great listener, okay? Um, you definitely want people to come together and um, become close. You don't want them to fight. You do not like when people fight. And if they do have a disagreement, you are the one to um, try to make things work out because you're very good listening and you have really great advice, honestly speaking. Um, but ultimately, I would say from the past, you guys um, may have experienced being passive when you guys were younger, okay? 
but maturity brings assertiveness okay also you guys are very sensitive okay and, and you could have been hurt very easy which created you to heal yourself and you guys naturally have a healing spirit so not only do you um have the art to mediate when confrontations arise you also have the ability to um heal people through your love through your personality through your um attention through your listening you your listening skills people feel like they can come to you and talk to you and you really are very sensitive so you know when something is not okay with people like you're tapped into a sense that you just know that you know if something's not right because ultimately you're here in life a lot of your purpose and why the universe have life number two is to bring unity okay and to bring peace you guys play a vital role in humanity and the collaboration of um the evolution okay so it's very important for you guys to be whole when it comes to um bringing people together bringing balance you know because you don't want to get into those lower states of being where you're in negative relationships because of maybe self-esteem issues you know it's very important to have a good self-esteem so that you attract people that are very um loving and kind because you don't want to be passive just to have people around you you don't want to just connect with any old body and i feel like life path number two is you you learn over time to you really grow a value within yourself you know you know that too it's like it's harmony and and peace and togetherness but you guys ultimately really bring um a sense of um assertiveness over time where you know how to stand up for what is right you really won't accept things to go out of your favor or out of other people's favor you guys have great power when it comes to connecting with others and helping the world manifest um what their heart truly desires you know their true heart's desire and what they love so keep being great people keep helping people um keep healing people um and keep healing yourself you know we're always here on a journey to keep growing thank you so much let me know if you want a part two Peace.